Okay, batteries uh, just starting test. Batteries were drained down to, I guess, almost 12 volts. This is my added wire. I have it running parallel. I'm getting 64 amps. And let's go check the voltage. Let me see the voltage here. This is a little off, 12.7 already. Uh, 64 amps, that's crazy with the added wire. Voltage in here, uh, here's my added wire I added to the lug. This is number eight, that's number six. The eight actually gets more amps through it individually than the six probably because there's a breaker on the six i have no breaker on here right now 3.6 uh, volts okay i'll come back in uh i don't know 15 minutes every 15 minutes okay 15 minutes into it 64 amps holy crap right I'm doing this right with two wires. Since I added this wire, 64 amps, I added this wire. This thing's cranking away. So I guess I could get number six wire and run it properly under the trailer and put another breaker. Now, like I said, this is eight, I get more amps through here than this number six i think because of the breaker and let me check the voltage in one second wow look at that that's the highest i seen at 13.9 i think this is in bulk mode uh, yeah it's gonna go up to 14.4 so maybe adding this wire help. Let's see when this drops out. So this is a 15 minute test. Now, I, uh, this has only been 20 minutes or so. I'm just showing you the 14 volts here at the converter. Uh, I assume it's gonna hit 14.4 and then drop out. The amps are still 60 amps. I don't know charging those two batteries if that's uh, crazy gonna destroy the batteries or not and what to do to 12 volt appliances in the uh, camper lighting and stuff this thing's boogie um, all right I'll keep an eye on it I'll test again at uh, 30 minutes and I'll give you my readings Okay, we're at 30 minutes, 64 amps still, 64, 65, that's crazy. And this line I changed from a 30 amp breaker because it would trip uh, to a 40 amp breaker and it's holding pretty good. Uh, it's almost at 14.4 volts. It reads here at the batteries. What does that say? 13.5. That was fast. Let me go in and check the voltage inside. Okay, we're at 14.3 volts. 64 amps. Um, the batteries are at uh, 13.6, I think. So this is a uh, half hour. 14.32. My added wire. Okay, I'm sure it's gonna cut out at 14.4. Um, not what it reads at the battery, but what it's reading here at the converter, because this almost matches the battery the terminals there. So we'll see. 35 minutes. It's almost there. 14.4. I don't know if I'll be able to catch it. It's 
still 64 amps out there. This is uh, 35 minutes. Um, pretty cool. Just adding that wire made a difference. I guess I could add the wire and then do more tests to see how easy it is to get it into bulk mode by just throwing maybe a little load on, uh, on the batteries, I'm not sure. So this is the actual battery terminal leads on the converter. 14, uh, 37. I'm sure when this reaches 14.4 it will uh, kick on to 13.6 mode. Yeah, could you see that? 64 amps still. 64, it's getting dark. But, uh, that's 64.5 amps. I should be getting ready to to kick out 62 just move the wires a little and it's almost uh, 25 it's uh, 40 40 minutes it's 40 minutes I know the uh, the battery leads inside are getting to 14.4 We'll see when it kicks out. I'm very surprised it's at 62 amps. It's uh, surprising to me. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, exactly 45 minutes. I don't know if this is uh, starting to go down or if it changed. I just walked out of the camper. It was 14.4, uh, but it's at 57 amps. At uh, 45 minutes, let's go in and check the voltage at 45 minutes. Let me see what this says here. So the battery's here. I don't even know if you can see this. 13.7 here. It's probably 13.8. Uh, if I test it here, 56 amps. Okay, charge port at 45 minutes. 14.48. Battery terminals on a converter at 45 minutes, 14.42. Okay, we're at one hour, 52 amps, one hour. The batteries are at 13.9. 13.9, they're probably at 14 at the battery. There's a little voltage drop. So I drew putting out 14.5. Uh, two. This is for one hour. And at the battery terminals is 14.46. Okay, an hour 15 minutes. 44.6 amps. The batteries are cool, they're not hot. Been an hour and 15 minutes with this and uh, the batteries now are at 14.1 volt okay charge port at one hour 15 minutes charge wire it is a uh, 14.5 still I'm not sure when this thing's gonna kick out at what amps or do the batteries themselves outside have to reach 14.4? Hmm, we'll see. I'll be back in 15 minutes, or if I see it drop out, I'll report. And then probably just stop the test then, just see what amps are in after it drops out, and this drops to 13.6. Okay, back in 15 or sooner, maybe. I hope it drops out. Okay, I am at one hour, 30 minutes. One hour, 30 minutes, 32 amps. So it's tapered off a little bit, but I am at the batteries, 14.2 volts. 
Okay, this is one hour, 30 minutes at the converter. 14.56 at the charge port. Okay, one hour, 45 minutes. 26.9 amps. One hour, 45 minutes. And we are still climbing. This is outside at the batteries. 14.29, almost 14.3. Uh, it's almost two hours, 23 amps. The batteries are 14.33. It should be getting close to drop out. I just want to record this at close to two hours, five minutes till the two hour mark. Uh, just so I don't lose this data. Okay, be back. Okay, exactly two hours of charging. 22 amps now at two hours. 14.36. Okay, two hours at the converter charging uh, lug. 14.60. Okay, two hours, 15 minutes. 19.3 amps. Batteries are shown 14.4 at the batteries. Two hours, 15 minutes. Okay, two hours, 30 minutes. Two hours, 30 minutes. 16.3 amps. 14.45 at the batteries. Two, two hours, 30 minutes. 14.62 at the charging uh, block. Okay, two hours, 45 minutes. 14.4 amps. We're at 14.46 at the batteries. Okay, three hour mark. Exactly three hours. 14.6 volts at a battery um, terminal. And 14.61 at charging uh, terminal. We're at 12.7 amps at the three hour mark. Three hours. And 14.4 batteries, but it's uh, probably 14.5 at the batteries. There's a voltage drop through this number eight. Okay, three hours, 15 minutes, 11 amps. 14.5 at the batteries. This thing ain't going off yet. Might be a four hour time limit. Uh, three hours, 15 minutes at the battery terminal on the converter. And at the charging terminals. Okay, three and a half hours, exactly. 9.3 amps. Battery is at 14.53. Three and a half hours, 14.62 at the charging terminal. Fourteen six one at the battery terminal. Three hours, 45 minutes, exactly. Battery terminals on the converter, 14.62. Charging port, 14.6263. Three hours, 45 minutes, 8 amps. 14.54 at the batteries. I guess it's got to go off in another 15 minutes. If it's a four hour time limit. Strange. I don't know if I charged faster on. I didn't. I mean, I didn't get this high a voltage. I got up to 13.5 or something. But different amps. Uh, when it wasn't in bulk mode. So I'm not sure. I mean confusing right 
Okay, three minutes shy of four hours. 14.62 at a battery. And we're 14.63 at charging terminal. Uh, I have no 12 volt lows on here. Funny thing, I had one light on. I turned this light on. Fan comes on. That's uh, screwy, right? I don't know why the fan comes on when you turn the light on. It's uh, a little weird. Yeah, I didn't I know that. But, uh, we're still in bulk. We're at four hours, a little, a couple of minutes shy of four hours, but I just wanted to get a reading. I mean, See if this thing even shuts off. Let's go out and see the amps. Oh, I just got up to, uh, it's a four hours. I just got up to go check the amps outside and turn that light back on and it just kicked out of bulk mode. So it's cranking down. Batteries are 13.98. The charging port is 1396, so it's cranking down. Let's go see what the batteries are and the amps going in. So I have zero amps going in. Zero amps. This thing ran four hours, and uh, well, I guess it will work its way down to uh, 136. This is a uh, four hours. I'm at 13.8. Zero amps going in. I'll let the batteries settle a little and uh, see what happens. I mean, that's uh, it's new to me. You know, I never got this thing in the bulk. I mean, it's a new camper. So let me wait till that goes down to 13.6 and see what kind of amps it puts in. All right, so it was zero volts. It's a little past the four hour mark. Two amps going in. The batteries are at 13.74, but I turned, uh, I turned some LEDs on. I got four or five LEDs on in there. So, I think that's what uh, that's what the converters putting in two amps for the lights light draw. That's the end of my test. I'm gonna clean up now. It's almost nine o'clock. I don't know if I accomplished anything. I probably should have done something different. But let me just get one more uh, one more from inside. Okay, so this fan is off. Let's see, we're 13, seven something. That's the charge port. And that's the batteries, 375. So these batteries are full, baby. All right, I'm gonna disconnect this wire. This wire is, uh, 8 gauge and uh, I mean this way I don't have to buy any maybe this says uh, oh this is AWG 6 gauge this is electrician's wire THWN2 THWN2 or AWG 6 so would you use this wire uh, because I could easily fish it down and there's a hole in the back under the camper and run it along the rail I could easily run that um, This is the camper by the way. It's a brand new 2018 Coachman uh, It just came from Florida a while ago, but uh so on this wire, but if you look here, that's six gauge in there now, and that one. 
I think I could fit more in there. I think I could fit a thicker wire. So would you would you increase this wire and just do as big as I could, four gauge? Or just run this one through and add it to that one and to the battery. I'm not sure what to do. And I don't know what that says. It says 2, 14. I don't know what that means. Okay. So, that's it. That's my test. Test is over.